All right, and two uptick teams. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Roger Ayers, Courtney Green, and Paul Zelk. Nice. Very good action. Action they worked on during the day. To refuse the pick, nice follow-up. That's exactly what Georgia Tech has got to be able to do. Get on the glass. Well, there's one thing we're going to see tonight, Aria. It's going to be pocket passes on the break. Great drive. Great throw ahead off the break. Notre Dame 8-16 and 16 on the year. Snapped a seven-game losing streak with the win over Virginia Tech Saturday. Right here at first set. Strong drive to the basket. How about Reeves? They want to get him going. Not great spacing on this break. Now they're trying to get it better. But usually this team does a great job of getting to the corner, but a great pull-up. Most complete game against Virginia Tech Saturday, 16 points, 8 assists. Got his teammates involved, the floor general, and got 6 steals on defense. Well, the steals are incredible. Another great pocket pass. Down great four pass. Corner nice. three, knocked down there by Ibrahim Asako. Roper out of Detroit, Michigan. Western transfer on the stick back. Nice work. I mean, not, not alone. I mean, he can't do it by himself. I mean, they, they've got enough guys that have played enough basketball to have a collective effort. They've got to pick up their communication and their defense. What a slip. He has been a bright spot already. See, that's where you want to be ready to shoot the ball, Ari. If you're Julian Roper, be ready to shoot the ball. They found something out of nothing. That's a great drive by Himes. They're loosening this game up with Burke now. Davis strong to the basket, great defense by the Jackets. Yeah, this is not, Notre Dame is not an ISO team. They saw a matchup that they wanted. The Irish last in the ACC in conference play. In offensive efficiency, but second in defense. Oh, three ball Murphy, corner pocket buries it. That's what he can do. Open three, Davis launches, the break is open here tonight. <laughs> Yeah, good for him. Shrewsbury, he can really shoot it. Yeah, he's not getting any space. He's gotten so much better at that sidestep getting space. He'll get free. There's the one right there. Pops and knocks it down from beyond the arc. Brady Shrews. To not pick and choose when they turn it on. And said, if your teammates, you see them slacking, it's up to you to be able to hold them accountable because we've beaten the best teams in the country, right? Carolina, Duke, Clemson. Well, and, and that's part of it. I mean, but he's got Miles Kelly, who's now got to show more leadership. Nathan George, I think, is going to be a fine leader because you can follow his lead in the way that he plays, and he delivers the ball. How about Burton there? Nice. How about Burton to the rack? Marcus Burton, he's fast, he's quick, he's strong, and he can take contact. That's a heck of an N1. Now, Aria, next foul puts Notre Dame in the bonus. It is important that they find a way to get in that bonus and separate in this game. Kazni splashes the triple home. But again, Marcus Parton with an outstanding on time on target pass. 11 0 run for Georgia Tech. For Notre Dame is snapped by Georgia Tech. There's that guy again. Corner three with the answer. Kwasi Reeves gets up on his jump shot. A very pure shooter. They call him Wasey. Around these parts says Burton, oh gravity, pulled it through. He's got six points, now 394 on the season. Seventh in the season for a freshman. Jumper, nice, that was Dongo. Make, watch the two-man game, nice pass. Davis and that preferred right hand rejected. Get out of there by Dongo. Burton with six. Iso, step back, block shot by Tafara Gapari. In transition, Gapari had it knocked away. Under two here in the first half. Kick to the corner. Passing up the three with Sako. Beautiful play. Count it. And one. All right, it's uphill action. All right, to a handoff, to a pocket pass in the middle, to a lob drop off on the bottom. He's had some big moments already early in his career, right? Layup over Armando Baycott. Oh, yeah. Win game winner. Game. Yeah, absolutely. How about the shots he hit at Little John in overtime? No question. I just love high pass. Look at the shot. Bingo. You got it right on cue. Mon Shepard back in 2008. He was over a fair player. assists in a season. Yes, he was. That shot not going to fall. You think about some great players for Georgia Tech. Freshman guards, Burton. Three ball, bang. Oh, baby. Nathan George with the rock. Now Kelly, aggressive early, high off the glass, first possession. The Jackets strike first in the second half. Davis using that strike, block shot, Reeves was in there, and now 
Low possession arrow will point Georgia Tech's way. Ball rotation. Reeves poked away. Stays with the Jackets. He rips it in there in a flush from Kowasi Reeves. Congo is, is good in this area. Hunts it. Gets on the floor. Knocks it down. Kelly picks it up. Throws it. And he's only had two offensive rebounds in the last six games. He's too talented for that. And eight points against the Hokies on the drive. Drops through. They're not playing that high post pass. Beautiful skip pass. Open three. George makes him pay. Timeout taken by Notre Dame. His length. It does not matter how long you are. It matters do you show your length. Nice pass. Count it. And the foul. Out of time. Getting that pocket pass in the middle of the floor with a corner cutter. Eighth O board for the Irish here at home. Burton with the second chance gets the friendly bounce. He's in a double figure. That is beautiful. Oh, energy spurt from the freshman. The hometown kid, Shrewsbury. Another chance. Left it short. A couple of good looks. Yeah, very much so. You're not you're not upset with that. He was ready to shoot it. Got to hold his follow through. There it is again. Oh, baby! Dongo! The Sacco and the flush. Right now, Georgia Tech knew they had it. They found it. The ball gets to the middle. All right, and it gets dropped off to the corner for a man cutting for a layup. Two away. This is where you got to be very conscious of getting to that rim so you can get in the bonus early. Under 10 on the shot clock. How about the patience from the freshman? If Kyle Filipowski fits twice this season. Ives block shot. Stays with it. Shot clock continues to trickle down. Double team there. Davis wrap around lays it in. Good play. Imes never panic. The Irish are within one. There it is again. That's on the weak side defense. Davis feeling pretty good. He's got four straight. He was shooting nearly 50% in his last five games from three coming in. Kelly, tough shot fading away. He's so good in that painted area. Going to get another shot at it. 13th offensive rebound. Comes another isolation to try to draw that foul. But he'll take the bucket instead. He's way better on the catch and shoot than he is trying to get it off the move in my mind. From what I see. Davis has found something going to his right hand. Exactly, and that was one of the things that David Stoudemire did not want to let happen today. Once the pick and roll happens, find your space. And that's one thing Georgia Tech has done a good job of. Bingo. Oh, Kelly. Way downtown, we're tied. Off the screens, lined up, ready to go. Burton to the elbow. Konezny, clean look. And Notre Dame takes the lead. Great spacing when a guy like Burton can drive the ball. Kelly doesn't shoot it, pulls up, floater, rattles home. Georgia Tech leads. Money shot. Those runners and floaters are like pure layups for him. These two teams have played thrillers. Konezny for the lead, yes. Nice play. Pass to the high post, here comes Burton. Up, they go to Davis. All the way to the right. Oh, oh, man. Man. Great play, great play call. All right, let's see how it plays out. George, a touch with seven. Now six, Kelly with five. Late in the shot clock, Got his peace. shot was blocked. George and the Jackets down three. Slips it inside, quick little layup Beautiful thrown play. in. And they're gonna give it to him. George catches, he's gonna throw it up. Mid-court heave, oh he almost got it. And Notre Dame hangs on. 